What are the Lions' needs going into the new uh, league year next offseason? We back. More to see sports talk. We in the building. So what's CJ Goodfella? And, um, you know, and I prioritize them, you know, uh, at the end. But, you know, uh, the needs, you want to start offensively. We got a whole need on the right side of, of the line. Let's start up in the trenches. Left, right guard, right tackle. Um, Lang, Wagner, what's going to happen there? So before we get to addressing every need, we just got to address the potential needs as, as well. You know, while we going on, or, or, you know, on the way, excuse me. But we got to address the potential needs. So uh, Lang wanted to come back and play. He got a lot of dead money owed. They trying to push him to retire. Wagner just been terrible. Obviously, they got Christ that can step in, but you want depth, you know. So they gonna at least have to get a right tackle or right guard somewhere along along the line. I'm just gonna go ahead and say both right now. So holds the right side of the line. Um, I believe they need another receiver. You know, um, I think Powell is a good fourth guy. You push T.J. Uh, Jones out of the assist, out out of the uh, off the team. You let Powell have that spot. You roll with Galladay, Jones, and you know bring in somebody else now. Um, as far as the offensive line, me back up. I would and I tell you how I would feel those needs. As far as the offensive line. I feel them. I feel one of those needs with one veteran, another rookie. Okay, um, no matter how you want to see, you want Crosby to start. I feel it with a veteran next to him, or a rookie. So it don't really matter. But you know, maybe they get a veteran right tackle to go uh, to back up Terrell Crosby and in a, in a rookie right guard. However they want to do it, um, or vice versa. Okay, uh, as far as the receiver opening, um, I go veteran. I go veteran. I don't know why. Um, but young vet, you know, I'm not talking about nobody expensive. Maybe some guy like uh, Inman with, with, with the Colts that got some upside or some size. Um, but right now I don't just envision the Lions drafting a receiver. Now, um, if they do draft a receiver, which I wouldn't be against, I like Marquise uh, uh, Brown, Antonio Brown's uh, cousin, the nephew, whatever he was, who plays for Oklahoma. He's projected in the second round right now. But I, that's just one of the guys I know of right now I like. But, um, I, I I can see a rookie or or a vet replacing replacing that uh, third receiver and just competing with uh Brandon Powell, but receiver the whole right side of the line tight end is something we need to address. I understand that Daryl Bevel uh has worked with Luke Wilson before, um, Michael Roberts, but I think in Toyota I call him Toyota, but the guy from Atlanta, the big tight end, um, they need a, a pass catcher, you know, somebody that can um. You know, uh, be a Witten, just a, a jack of all trade. A Witten, a, a, a Shannon Sharp, a Tony Gonzalez, a Jimmy Graham. They need an all-purpose tight end, in receiving wise. And maybe a guy that can block well too. You need somebody that can do what Toyota and Roberts and Luke Wilson can do. You know what I'm saying? A guy that can get vertical. A guy that can get intermediate. A guy, a guy that can block a little bit. A guy that can just make possession receive receptions. And pretty much, uh, uh, that's the only needs I really see other than developmental quarterback, which I think they filled that void with Connor Cook, they believe. So um, they said it's a guy they've been eyeing the whole offseason of Bob Quinn. So so all right, let's go over the offensive needs again, and I and I categorize them. As far as the biggest need, offense, well, hold on, I missed one, sorry. Uh, a little bit tired, but I missed one. Running back position. You know, the running back position is, is an offensive need spot. Um, just a depth position or, or somebody that can compliment carry on. I don't trust. I won't bring back LeGarrette Blunt. I won't bring back Theo Reddick. Um, I bring back Zach Zinner, but somebody that's explosive that can just really get north and south. And that's just got an exceptional speed is what, I, what I'm looking at. I'm more likely to go with him. But as far as the biggest needs, I think the the two offensive linemen spots are, are the biggest needs. Um, and then I will go the tight end spot after that. Then I would go the running spot after that, and then the receiving spot would be my least, my least of my worries right now. Okay, because we want to run the ball with Daryl Bevel and get north and south. And pretty much he didn't have the greatest receivers with Seattle. Okay, he made his system, you know, got Golden Tate open and Doug Baldwin open down the field and intermediate. So our right, defensively is where we get fun at, okay? Um, defensively, um, depth, depth positions, you know, you need everything, to be honest. Uh, depth position, you need depth behind, snacks in hand. Um, that's how I'm just looking at. Alshon Robinson, Alshon Robinson, I will move on from him. I bring in a, a, a rookie, one rookie defensive tackle, a plugger or or pass rusher, three technique type. The plugger, obviously in this in this defense is, is Harrison and the, the pass rusher is hand. But I just bring in two. Maybe a rookie plugger, rookie pass rusher, and then the opposite would just be whatever 
whatever whatever they choose to go with. So if they go with a rookie um, plugger, you know, run stopper, then you just go with a, a veteran fast switch pass rusher, you know, just something like that. But I look for depth in, in the interior with the defensive line. I look at depth on the outside now. Certain things they can do on the outside to kind of do some things. They can move Devin Kennard with his hand in his dirt, in the hand of the dirt. They can move Jerry Davis to the outside and draft Devin Bush. I mean, or Devin White or Bush. I like both of them, but Devin White will be at unless we move back and take Bush from Michigan. And I think Devin White's the one from LSU. But we need a pass rusher. We need a premier pass rusher. Even with, if Kennard goes down and put his hand in the dirt full time, we need a veteran pass rusher. We need two, you know, we need depth behind the two defensive tackles. Um, we need a middle linebacker. Um, and we would need one more. I, I could stay with Christian Jones, but I would, I would like to see them get another linebacker on the other side. I would, you know, I would like to see them get two linebackers. You know, uh, the middle and then the other opposite side that Jared Davis would move to. Um, other than that, defensive backs, defensive backs, defensive back, defensive backs, defensive backs. That's what I'm looking at. Um, starting corner, you know, I'm looking for a, a party to, to trade and acquire a Jalen Ramsey. If not, uh, I'm looking for a veteran corner to come in and start. I don't have no time to develop a rookie. I'm looking for develop, develop a DB. Um, I'm looking for, you know, probably another corner, a younger rookie corner to come in and develop behind Agnew and Mike Ford, you know, later in the draft. I'm talking about fourth, fifth, the earliest the third round. Okay, so, and, you know, they probably can go with a, a safety. I'm not worried about the safety right now. I believe T's table will stay on the roster. And he will uh, transition to a safety if they keep him on the team. So, prioritize the defense. What's the biggest need for the defense, in my opinion, is a premier pass rusher on the outside. Um, no Ziggy Ansah. Devin Kennard can move to the dirt, but we need somebody that can just be a star rushing the passer on the outside. That's just what he do. Um, and then after that, uh, you know, my second priority out of the ones we uh, we uh, listed as needs, it would be the middle linebacker position. Um, that's that's the biggest position I'm looking for because that changes things. Because how that would change things is you would shift, um, you would shift, you know, Bush or White, however, whatever middle linebacker they choose to get to the middle. It would shift Jerry Davis to the outside, and in my opinion, it would shift Kennard to put his hand in the dirt full time. So that has a massive impact. So we go uh, pa premier pass rusher on the, on the edge, um, middle linebacker, cornerback. Okay, I go cornerback three, and not necessarily just draft, just free agency as well. And then I go, you know, whatever left the defensive tackle depth after that. That's how I'm looking at it overall in the grand scheme of things. Um, bear with me, a little bit of headache, but um, in the grand scheme of things, if, if I had the big board, my need, my biggest need on the big board would uh would be uh the pass rusher, and then I would go middle linebacker. Then I worry about uh, just the overall offseason big board. I would worry about the right side of my line, okay, addressing that, and then I would worry about uh the middle linebacker position after the right side of the line, after the middle linebacker position. I would worry about the cornerback position, you know, and then I just go, I just go down from there. Then I worry about running backs, receivers, and stuff of that nature. But our biggest need is a, is a pass rusher that can that can create some heat, um, just be a star, a stud rushing on the outside. You know what I'm saying? But you know, let me know what you guys think the biggest needs for the Detroit Lions are as far as the pass rushers, as far as defense, offense, the right side of the line. Let me know. And we just talking hypothetical because we don't know. Who gonna get cut? Who gonna get traded? Who gonna retire? Um, you know, Glover Queen retired. Then you know, people might say we need a third safety or another safety to go with Diggs and it's Tracy Walker ready. So it's a lot of hypotheticals. So this this really can change. But the overall, biggest need for me is the uh, the pass rusher to put his hand in there and go get the passer. My favorite need I'm interested to see them address as far as the draft is the middle linebacker position. Uh, we haven't had a really good middle linebacker in a long time, and that's that's my favorite need. Um, and my, my, my free agent, uh, how do I address the need that I most want to address uh, with free agent free agency is a, the cornerback position. I think we need a veteran corner to go out there and ball out on that island. You know, maybe trade, free agency. That's the one position that I, I would just, you know, go out there and go and spend money on or spend assets on. But Smart C Sports Talk, sorry I didn't have the energy for this video. Just got done, took them, uh, my dog Miles out to the park for a run, and the weather got, probably got to me a little bit. But... Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, you can reach out to me in the email if you got a question, business, inquiry, responsive, video request, or you just want to chop it up. Appreciate everybody for checking the channel out. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button. If you didn't like the video, hit the sub. 
subscribe button, bell icon button, won't miss another video. Appreciate everybody else.